Hello and welcome back to the Consistory the Kyle YouTube channel. I'm your host for this video, Reverend Jake Zabel of the St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church located in Dolby, Queensland, Australia. Today we're going to be continuing our mini-series on an introduction to heresies by looking at the heresy of Sabellianism, also known as modalism. But before we get to that, we need to first discuss the topic of monarchianism because modalism or Sabellianism is a form of monarchianism. But monarchianism is not just one heresy. There is actually different types of monarchianism. So what is monarchianism? So to understand this, we need to start going through kind of like, a, I don't know, a chart of the different kind of categories of heresies. So we began with Valentinianism. We talked about Trinitarian heresies, heresies that do not believe in one God, three persons. But those heresies can be broken up into two categories, the tritheism heresies, those heresies that believe in three or more gods, and those Unitarian heresies, those heresies that believe in one god and only one person, rather than there being three persons. But then those Unitarian heresies could be broken into three categories. Arianism, that said that only God the Father is divine, and the Son and the Spirit are not divine. Then there are those other Unitarian heresies that do believe in the divinity of the Son and the Spirit. And these can be broken into partialism and monarchianism. Partialism believed in one God, one person, but three parts. Monarchianism has, you know, again, this is like counteracts that era of partialism because you know you can't have partialism that would be bad you're dividing God into multiple parts and that's a heresy so monarchianism is the belief that there is one God one person one part but there may be three modes that's what we're going to get to with modalism monarchianism is essentially just that overarching term that believes there is one God one person one part there is this divine monarchy, monarchianism. But then again, the monarchias can be broken into two different categories. The Sabellians, or modalists, and the Samomostians, which we will discuss in our next video. So today we're going to be looking at the era of modalism, or also known as Sabellianism, because it was taught by the heretic Sabellius in the 2nd century AD. So Sibelius proposed that the Trinity was like the different states of water. Ice, water, and steam. There is one God, there is one person, and there is also only one part. The Father is divine, the Son is divine, and the Holy Spirit is divine. However, they're not all existing at the same time because he denies that there are three persons. There is only one person, but the person is not divided into three parts like partialism taught. Instead, the one person is there, but the person changes from time to time. So at sometimes he's the Father, sometimes he's the Son, sometimes he's the Holy Spirit. Now this raises questions regarding Bible verses like, you know, the baptism of Jesus when there's the Father speaking in heaven, the Son on earth, and the Holy Spirit in the dove, and just, you know, the fact that the Bible talks about the Word being with God and is God, you know, the is God works, but how can he be both is God and with God without God being someone who is also a distinct person? So, Sabellianism, modalism, again, it's an error because it, it denies the different persons of the Trinity. It believes there is one God, one part, one person who just changes different modes, hence the term modalism. This view is held and promoted today by the Oneness Pentecostal movement. These are just modalists who believe that there was God the Father in the Old Testament, God the Son in the New Testament, and since Pentecost we've got God the Holy Spirit. So Oneness Pentecostals are just modalists. So, I hope that helps with a brief introduction to the heresy of Sabellianism. I've been your host, Reverend Jake Sable. Goodbye and God bless.